The difference is that help has come the way of this special people we are going to be telling you about shortly. It's time to take a trip to Alabarago. Come along. Alabarago Lepers Colony is where we are today, today being Easter Sunday. And needless to say, my heart is literally in my mouth. But here's the thing, this story must be told. Do these people even know about the lockdown? Do they know about the coronavirus pandemic? It's why we are here today, as well as to distribute foodstuff to the people. There are different groups with different stories, and we are going to tell you about them as we move along. Come along. Social distancing is almost impossible here, but somehow, a courtesy of the Onyekwele's food distribution continues. Like I said earlier on, it's different groups with different stories. Uh, this particular group here uh, is a small group of women, and they're just sitting, hoping and waiting for it to get to their turn to receive food. And then this other group is made up of mostly men. The men are also sitting and waiting. And then I come across this man who talks about okay. wanting a prosthetic okay. leg because his leg has been amputated. He's also a leper. And then we have this group of young ladies that keep running away whenever they see the camera coming. I guess it's because they are shy. There's a lull because the distributors say that they are going to stop because people keep coming for double rations. Eventually, things are resolved, but not without some difficulty. And then full distribution continues. I have collected my help. It's, uh, it's rice and the uh, endomine and uh, some and some carry inside. So in this day and age when people are calling from, for help from government and well-meaning Nigerians, the Onyekwelis here have decided to come to Alabarago and I'm being joined by the representative of the family. This situation is the situation of chronic hunger. The hunger is too much. As you know, they cannot go out to beg. They have been stuck in this place. They don't have food. We are about the only people that bring food for them here. No other person comes here, just because they are lepers. And they've kind of been forgotten for individuals and foundations to help. It's, it's a bit sad. And even though it was a struggle to give, I'm sure that their everyday life is more of a struggle. We are going to call upon the government to please bring some, yes, some relief effort, some relief now that with this COVID situation, to please bring some relief here as well. Our trip to Alabarago today has been quite eventful. There is a lockdown, so most of them are at home, and the, the food distribution was quite a struggle, but eventually our mission has been accomplished. It's time for us to go, though, but as we take you through the surroundings, take a look at them, they're surrounded by debt. They practically live on a dump site. And just like some of the respondents have said, it's time for government to beam their searchlight on this community.